I made a squid, and now I need to make him friends. Today, I'm making a giant stingray. This pattern is from BZ Art, link below. And I just blew it up 350 times. <laughs> this is one of my favorite patterns because it's also one of my favorite sea creatures. Once I get the pattern put together and cut out with seam allowances, it's time to trace onto my fabric. I get two fleece throws last year for this project. One is a solid black for the belly and the bottom of the tail, and the other is black with stars and hearts on it. It reminds me of the black spotted eagle ray I swam with in Dominican Republic a few years ago. I trace and cut the belly and bottom of the tail from the solid black. Then I trace the two top sections of the body and the top of the tail from my fabric with the stars. I put the tails together first, sew all the way around, and turn right side out. I sew the top section of the rays together, and then I sew the tail to the top section so it doesn't wiggle out of place. Then I sew all the way around, leave an opening under the tail for turning and stuffing. I flatten the pattern out and sew a top stitch on both sides to make the wings. The only eyes I had were brown, so I took a pair of scissors, scraped off the brown, painted them with glitter and purple for something more sparkly. I put the eyes in, stuffed the body, Squished everything into place. Close the hole. And he came out super cute. I can't wait to make more in different colors. If you want to take him home and support me, the link to my shop is down below. Along with the link to BZ Art's original pattern if you want to make one yourself. Thanks everyone! See you in the next video! Bye!